In this video, we're going to explore using the equal mod function to calculate quarterly interest payments. One of the challenges you will encounter building monthly debt schedules is the need to calculate and show interest expense in each month and then reflect the payment of interest at the end of the quarter. To clarify, row 31 shows the monthly interest expense calculation, but it does not reflect an actual payment. The row beneath it is the actual payment the company makes to its lender. Since interest is often paid quarterly, we need to write a formula that will return the summed value of these three months at the end of the quarter. Often what I see is some variation of this formula. It's an if statement that uses OR for the logical test, which permits including multiple logical tests. What this is saying then is if any of these logical statements are true, then return the sum in this array. And it works because the logical tests are all looking for a month number that reflects the end of the quarter. So the first quarter would be month three, the second quarter month six, third quarter month nine, and so on. It gets the job done, but there's a much better alternative. We're still gonna use an if statement, but instead of or, we'll use mod, a function that returns the remainder after our number is divided by a divisor. So for our first input, we will again link to month. And then we'll use three for the value of the divisor. And I'll explain in a moment what Excel is doing here. But in the interim, input zero for true, and then the sum of these three cells for false. Press enter, and we can paste this all the way across. So how does this much shorter formula work? Let's look at a quick demonstration. Here I have the equal mod function, and assuming the values in the column titled number represent months with values 1 through 12, let's take a look at the first quarter. In this example, the function is taking the number 3 and dividing by the divisor 3, a calculation with no remainder. So mod returns the value 0. And when a value of zero is used in a formula that checks for true false statements, Excel will return the value false. As a quick aside, I'm using the equal or function to return true or false. This function checks all logical statements provided and returns true if any of the statements are true and false only if all statements are false. So back on the debt schedule, if we review the formula once again, by including mod as the logical statement, when the number, which is the month, and the divisor, in this case again the value 3, do not return a remainder, the if statement returns the value for the false outcome, which is the sum payment we're looking for. And in the period that follows, because 4 divided by 3 has a remainder of 1, here the logical test is true, and so the formula returns the value 0. All right, team, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful.